Are you overwhelmed by sorrow, fear, hopelessness? Is it all too much? Whatever you do, it doesn't work, it doesn't go away. Well, now is not the time to quit. Listen to me, or better, listen to the voice of God. Are you with me on this journey? Holy Ghost Nuggets, that's the title of this series. I've made it together with the Holy Ghost to bless you, to give you an abundant life. Please watch till the end and be blessed. Say what? If I have a psychiatrist, of course I have one. But uh, they killed him. They tortured him, they humiliated him, and then they killed him, they murdered him. Slowly, painfully, they killed him. If I have another one today, I have the same one today. Well, you see, he died and then he rose again. After three days, he became alive. Jesus, yes, of course, Jesus Christ. That's my psychiatrist. It's like when your car is broken, your engine, you go to someone who really knows what he's doing. He fixes the car and he can drive again. And my Jesus, my psychiatrist, he is the designer of my body, soul, and spirit. So whenever I have something especially on the inside, I go to him and he will fix this problem. He is the best one in the world and for free too. What will you do? Listen to me. I want to bless you with what I discovered in the Bible. Open your mind, open your heart and be blessed. Are you crushed in your spirit? Listen to this verse. The Bible tells us the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He saves those who are crushed in spirit. He saves those who are crushed in spirit. He is close to you, my friend, and he wants to heal you. He wants to help you. Take courage. Do you need spiritual healing? He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalm 147 verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. God will bind up your wounds, all kinds of wounds, all your wounds. Are you overcome by fear? Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Peace. The peace of Jesus drives away every fear, every anxiety. God will restore you. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. 1 Peter 5.10 God is here proclaiming that there is a divine calling upon your life. There is a plan and there is a purpose with your life. He will restore you. He will make you strong, firm and steadfast. Do you need rest? Come to me, you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11.28 Listen to the words of Jesus. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. This is a personal invitation, especially for you. What will you do? Will you accept this invitation? Will you? Jesus is your friend. He is a BFF, your best friend forever. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. John 14, 16. And I will ask the Father and he will give you. God especially asks for you, for this counselor, this, uh, this advocate, to come to you and to be your friend. Now this word in Greek is paraclete. You cannot translate it with just one word. Let me give you some translations. A comforter, God wants to give you a comforter. A counselor, he wants to give you a counselor. Advocate, called to one's aid in a court of justice. One who pleads another's cause before a judge. A helper, Jesus wants to be your helper. And a friend, he wants to become your friend. And a true friend understands you and helps you. And I will ask the Father 
and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. To help you and be with you forever. Now, if you are a child of God, you have the Holy Spirit inside of you to lead you into a deeper knowledge and to give you divine strength. He is your friend forever and ever. Jesus is the best psychiatrist there was, is and ever will be in this universe. He can heal you like no one else. No medication, no counselor, no yoga, no religion. Nothing can do what Jesus can do for you. And he wants to become your friend right now at this moment. I want to pray for you. Dear Lord God, you sent your son Jesus Christ to this world so all people could be saved. The only thing we have to do is trust you, believe you, trust you, put our trust in you. I pray that everyone who hears this prayer will for sure know that you are the only, the only God, that you are waiting and waiting. You want to save us, heal us and give us an abundant life with happiness and joy. You know us, you know all our doubts, our fears, everything about us you know. Nothing is hidden for your eyes. But for sure you want to help us, you want to help me, he wants to help you. I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Please like this message, share, and if you haven't done it, subscribe. Be blessed and stay blessed.